A Clean Slate, The Adventures of Simon B. Slate. Chapter 1. The Cliff. What a wonderful day to be Simon B. Slate. I've been up here for 134 years and starting to get used to it. Being with my friend Marble keeps me here. He's getting used to stuff on the surface too. But he warns me that some Ollie a subsidian from a volcano nearby said that these strange organic creatures called humans sometimes come to hunt us for our looks. Over millions of years, the cliff, the cliff we were on started to disappear from this dark force called erosion. My friend Marble was captured by the humans by then, and my life was filled with suffering. I had no comfort. A sudden gust of wind threw me off the cliff. I would soon fall into the river of death, 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 death. You know when you are hurt so much that you feel like you'll fall apart? What happened to me? What happened was like that, but 4.5 billion times worse. I broke into sediments. It felt weird being only a piece of my former self. I was smaller, I was less heavy, and easier to drift in a river and get to the ocean. Wait, no, I don't want to go to the ocean. Ah! Let's all go to the lobby. Ah! Oh, wait, it's over now. I found myself in a field of rocks. Many were broken up, were broken up like me. Eventually, other sediments, quote unquote, accidentally piled on top of me. Eventually, we became good friends and made up our sedimentary rock. We were the I, I am a lime, I am a limestone, pronounced I am a limestone. But things started to heat up. At first, I thought we would turn back to slate, a metamorphic rock, but things got hot. I found myself in the mad magma chamber of a nearby volcano. I fell into the magma, and then I turned into magma. But at least I looked hot and attractive. Get it? Uh, no, really, I hate this. Chapter 6. Free at Last. Eventually, I flowed out of a volcano during an eruption, and everything cooled down. I looked cool now. I was, like, very shiny. Wait, I'm now obsidian. Nice. People loved me for some reason. I was shining, and I thought of becoming a rock star. But before I could, a ravine grew beneath the ground. I fell in the fault that led to a river. I've got that feeling of deja vu. Oh wait, I have been here before. Dang it! I split into sediments, but they weren't as big considering I'm a sidian right now. I, w I went into the ocean and got squished again, blah, 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 until I was a sedimentary rock again. As I was crushed, I started to get hotter, and there was more pressure. The pain started small, and got larger and larger and larger, until I eventually returned to the surface. Unfortunately, it could take millions of years. Oh, boy. The cliff was a lot smaller now, and the Hootmans were starting to mine it down as well, but they left before I was mined at all. <laughs> also, I found Marble. I don't know how, but it's amazing to meet him. As by then, I was Simon B. Slate again. Marble told me he was on a crazy adventure, and I agreed it was true. I had also been on a crazy adventure. I guess it's time to start getting used to this cliff, now that I'm a clean slate. To be continued on page two. Other stuff, written by Price L. Reed, Pyrite L. Radium, cast, Simon B. Slate, Price Reed, Matthew C. Marble, Price Reed, Ollie S. Obsidian, Price Reed, concept art by Price L. Reed, Pyrite L. Radium, you rock. Okay, bye.